So Ghislaine was the main enforcer. She was, um, you know, even before I met Ghislaine, mm -hmm. Jeffrey said, you answer to Ghislaine. You know, y y she is the lady of the house. She is, um, y y you just don't cross her. She forced me into Jeffrey's room to be raped. Mm -hmm. And then when I walked out, well, walked, limped, I mean, whatever you do when you've just been, been brutally raped, I looked at her, and that's why it was really important for me to be there and look at her, because when I looked at her, after she forced me into that room to be raped, she smiled. And that's why I had to be there, because you know what? I smiled right at back, right back at her when I saw her. None of this could have happened without the courage of the victims, because uh, they testified uh, very bravely. They were cross-examined uh, vigorously by the defense. Uh, their motives were questioned, uh, and they just held their heads up and with dignity answered all of the questions. And they made many sacrifices for the cause of justice. And again, others uh, who alleged they were victims also uh, shared their information with law enforcement, as my clients did. And as a result, uh, Ms. Maxwell was convicted. And this does send a message to other sexual predators and those who would conspire to sex traffic underage girls to them that this will be taken very seriously. Charges may be filed against you. You may be prosecuted. You may end up getting sentenced to prison for the rest of your life, as may be the case with Ms. Maxwell. So uh, beware and do not conspire with uh, or become a sexual predator yourself because underage girls are very vulnerable. They're easy to take advantage of and it's taken very seriously when uh, they are preyed upon by adults who do know better.